I'm talking about. That's how you get this done. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Eight burn piles, the remnants going in a hole. Now I have red clay to fix my ditch issue. He separated the topsoil out to on each end. So when we cover up this stuff, we're covering it up with topsoil. I, you just can't ask for any better. This is just awesome. All that stuff goes bye-bye. We would have had to nibbled with it with our tractors. He makes live work of it. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And again, I didn't bring my GoPro. I didn't know I was going to have this kind of stuff to watch. a big hole. A very big hole. Well, my allergies are going to kick in here any second, so I'm going to cut it off. Bye, bye. not the coolest thing ever. Yes, I'm a weird girl. That is just freaking cool.
hole is full and it's not got all the stuff in it. Tons and tons of stuff. So the hole is getting bigger. But we're getting her done. That's a lot of junk. I got lots and lots of clay to work with too. Look at that. Gotta slip over here. So you can see how much clay that is. I can fix my dish issue with that. Oh yeah. All right, I'll be back. There is a big hole. All of that clay came out of the hole. I'm staying out of the way, but. almost all in there now. Wicked. This is topsoil. On the other end is topsoil. And he's getting the remnants. Last of the remnants going in the hole. Yay! Alright, I'll be back. Okay. This is the end of this project wanted to show you what the excavator did finished what he did we have to move this um, topsoil over it but we know how to do that all of the ash that was in this ginormous pile here has been buried in this hole and then covered in clay and now we will move that topsoil over and dress it up that behemoth over there of clay let's move around this way we'll go to the project that's over there that is entirely too low I have to raise it many feet I've already raised it several feet, but I ran out of dirt. It needs clay, so I have clay now. So, that's that project. We'll walk back here and I'll show you the other project. If I don't fall and break my neck on the way. Because this hole is empty. We're doing the exact same thing back here. But the piles won't be burned for a while. Because it's dangerous. That pile is ginormous. And we have to be extra careful with it. Because of the property back here. We don't own that property. We cleaned the edges like 35 feet to get out all the rotten wood. And we put a hole back here so we can move the ash to it. This pile is little and it will be moved to this pile one day. Again, we're not in a hurry for that. It's scary. Because in those woods, 
It's nothing but down pine trees, rotting, dry tinder box. So we're scared. Well, cautious. We'll go with that. Alright. Another ginormous pile of clay. Now look at this hole for our debris. I walk down here. We have a exit ramp in case a deer or anything gets in there. It is full of water because we went so low we hit water. Believe me, it's ginormous. It's very deep. So, that's where the ash will go and then from this pile and we will put it in there and then that will no longer be a problem. And I'll have plenty of dirt to work with fixing holes. We ran out of space on that side, so we started putting it over here. Then we ran out of space down there for the excavator to sit. So I guess it's time to stop. That's a big hole. It'll hold a lot. I'll give you a view from here. I've got a lot of planning to do. This is my project area over here this whole thing it is known locally as Sandra's um, sandbox <clears throat> I call it my dirt school but they call it my sandbox so that's where we're at He will be back tomorrow to fix my ditch issue on the county side in the ditch. The water's coming into our property, which is a whole nother issue. So, in order to get it fixed, you pretty much have to do it yourself right here. So, that's what we're doing had to take out all of the trees that were sick, dying, or, or otherwise vulnerable because they just kept falling. They would snap under 12 mile per hour winds. We don't have a, a wind break anymore. So these trees, this was woods. This was absolutely dense woods. Not anymore. Hurricane Michael. I love it. Our new normal. I can deal with that though. See how low that place is over there? I'm going to be at that a while. I don't know how many feet I got to go up. You can see the... You can see the side of the hill on the, what's supposed to be the ditch and it dumps right back into our property so I've got to raise that several feet all the way back way back not to here but pretty close so that the water gradually goes and goes into the ditch there's really no ditch there it's just hole and then the rain comes and it just floods it it's terrible that's another project i've been working on it for a year all right give you one last little view Stuart is working on his tractor and that's where we stand all right See you later. Like, subscribe, comment, whatever you want to do. Be great. Thank you.